Hey guys, so today I'm creating this look here, and it's a fall slash holiday inspired tutorial. Um, it's pretty glitzy, it has a bunch of gold, and I guess gold's a thing again for this holiday season. So, um, that's how I got inspired for this look. And also, I'm filming this part of the video on my iPhone because my camera, the memory card's full because it's not really my camera, and I'm trying to import my video, and it's taking a little bit longer than I thought, and I'm about to be heading out. But, so yeah, so I'm recording this on my iPhone, so sorry about the shakiness and the quality of the video, or their lack of quality. Yes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I know I had a pretty good one. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a lot of food and keep eating a lot of food because food is awesome. So if you guys want to see how this look is created, just keep watching and I'll show you how. Start off this look by priming my eyelids. I am using my e.l.f. eyelid primer and I'll be using my MAC Soft Ochre Pink Pot as a second primer because my eyelids get really oily and um yeah so i have to take this extra precaution if you don't have oily eyelids you can just use one primer you can use the elf urban decay whatever your preference is but do prime those eyelids so next taking a white eyeliner pencil i'm going to go ahead and just highlight my brow bone area and it's going to be pretty harsh looking but don't worry we'll blend that out at the end but um, yeah, that'll add a really nice highlight to the brow once you get it all blended out and pretty. So now for my lid, I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in gold. It's not very bright, but um, yeah, you do have to blend these colors out with your finger also to prevent the creasing because they are kind of like waxy, so to speak. But they do help the color, the gold color here a lot better and appear brighter. So yes, take the step. You don't have to if you don't want to, but... I just like to do so because I like to add extra steps in all my stuff. So now I'm going to be taking this bright red matte color from Sugar Pail. It's called Love Plus. And I'm going to be taking that on my crown fluffy brush and just applying it to like my crease area in like windshield wiper motions in kind of like a half circle kind of way across, not really in the crease, but against the crease, so to speak. So, yes. So I'm going to be taking this little duo thing here from L'Oreal HIP or HIP you can say and it's in the colors Ignited and I'm going to be taking the purple color from the little duo thingy and I'm going to be adding it to the crease above the red to give it kind of like a darker like burgundy type of feel and just keep adding it the same way you added the red to the crease. You're going to put, you're going to add this color a little bit under the red so you still have the red kind of outline to it I guess you can say but when you get to the outer corner of the eyes you do want to round the color towards the lid so you kind of make it like a round shape now with a smudger brush smudger brush yes a smudger brush you're gonna take the gold part of the um, duo there and you're gonna add that to the lid you're gonna pack in the color and then just blend it all over So for the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the same smudger brush, just cleaned it off, and I'm going to be applying the red to the outer third, yeah, outer half, let's say outer half, the outer half of my lower lash line and circling it up to meet the crease color. And I'm going to be doing that um, on both eyes, obviously. And then I'm also going to be adding a little bit of the same golden color that I used to the inner part of my bottom lash line. So now it's time to blend out the brow highlighter. So I'm just using my little pinky to do that because it's kind of like a small area. And don't worry about getting your brows because you're going to fill them in later. And yeah, so just blend that out towards the color. So to the side and down. And then I'm going to be using this color from the Naked palette. And it's called Naked with a fluffy brush as well. And I'm going to just apply that as a transition color. So over the red. So it just blends everything really seamlessly. So for the brow highlight, I'm going to be using my Vanilla Pigment by MAC. And I'm gonna <coughs> Ooh, almost died. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the highest part of my brow with my fluffy brush. So 
So I'm also going to go ahead and add that to the inner corners as a highlight and just blend it in um, towards the burgundy crease color that I created. So now for my eyeliner, I'm going to use my Sephora liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to wing it out. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline and I'm just going to put it on there pretty heavily and smudge it against the lashes itself to kind of make it a little bit smokier on the bottom lash. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to be using, um, well, no, not using, the applying mascara. And it's going to be my favorite, of course, the L'Oreal Double Extend because that junk is the bomb.com. But yeah, so once you're done with that, apply the mascara, and then we're almost done. Now it's time to contour my face, and what I'm going to be using is my NYC Sun to Sun bronzer. And I'm going to be taking the bronze part, of course, and putting that in the hollow of my cheeks and underneath my chin to kind of give me some definition. Now for blush, I'm going to be using this like reddish brownish blush. It doesn't have a brand. I got it like in a little kit when I was younger, so I've had it for a few years. But yeah, I'm just going to use that and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to apply it lightly because it's a really pigmented color. And I want a really natural cheek. I don't like that stark blush looking cheek that a lot of people wear. So it's really naturally just dab it and blend it out really well. Now this is Sephora's Moonbeam and it's an eyeshadow. I'm going to use it as a highlighter and apply it um, on the top of my brow and on the highest part of my cheek and the highest part of my face is that need to be highlight highlighted so like the bridge of my nose the center of my forehead and the center of my chin as well as my cupid's bow now this eyeshadow also it's a dupe for max whisper of guilt so i mean if you don't have whisper of guilt you can get this eyeshadow at sephora i think they still have it I, last time i checked it was on sale for three dollars so you might want to look into that and see if it's there but it's the um moonbeam eyeshadow by sephora again so now it's time to fill in my brows I'm just using my favorite angled brush by Coastal Scents and a really dark brown chocolate brown eyeshadow I'm also using a black eyeshadow for the tail but I'm applying that lightly I just want a darker tail for my eyebrow so for my lips I'm gonna be using Revlon's matte lipstick in 01 nude attitude and I'm gonna be mixing that with my Maybelline bronzed lipstick to have like a really cute nude type of lip combo going on so that's it guys that's the finished look I hope you like my tutorial and I'll talk to you guys later bye